Hey guys, it's Lee Marie with Nokomis Home Fragrance. If you're new, I make videos all about running a small business. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about a very important topic, also known as entrepreneurial burnout. Before I dive in deep, I did just wanna say that this was a requested video from one of my fabulous viewers. So if you have a video that you would like me to make or a topic you want me to delve more into, please do leave a comment um, below and I will get to those videos as fast as I can. So what is entrepreneurial burnout? Basically, it is when your business starts affecting either your physical or your mental health. As entrepreneurs, we take on a lot of responsibility because when we're first starting out, we wear a lot of hats. Those hats can include accounting, bookkeeping, sales, marketing, web design, social media, manufacturing, brand development, and more. As an entrepreneur, when we first start out, we're pretty much doing everything. And we all know how much hard work it takes for your brand to really take off. There's a lot of late nights, early mornings, long days, and sometimes that will catch up to you and it's called entrepreneurial burnout. But don't worry, there are definitely some things you can do to recover whenever this hits you. And like I said, it happens to everybody. So don't feel like you're less than if this is happening to you or you're being affected by the strain of starting a business. I think a lot of the times, especially female entrepreneurs, we feel like we have to do more and we have to prove ourselves. We have to show that we're putting in the time, we're putting in the effort, but sometimes we're doing too much. So the first thing I want to do is I want to let you know that one, it is completely okay for you to have burnout and to have those moments where you need to take a step back. Number two, I want you to know that it can be as simple as taking a day off. Take time off to do something that you love. You know, I, again, used to be a pastry chef. So for me, it would maybe be going home and baking some cookies. Focus on self-care. That is a really great way to combat um, the entrepreneurial burnout is to just decompress, take some time for yourself, whether that is journaling, whether it's, you know, getting a massage or around me since I'm in Florida, going to the beach for the day and just soaking up nature. It could be going on a walk or a hike. Uh, it could be connecting with your friends, going out to lunch. Anything like that where your mind is doing something that it finds enjoyable, that's a really good way to avoid a serious burnout. Another great tip when you're feeling the burnout come on or you're feeling overwhelmed is learning to say no. It is perfectly okay as an entrepreneur for you to say no. If you are feeling overwhelmed, if your mental health is just not there and you don't think you can take on any additional product, uh, projects, then by all means, learn to say no. You know, a lot of the times as entrepreneurs, we can feel like we're missing out on something if we say no. We feel like we might be making somebody angry or disappointing someone. But the truth of the matter is that when you say no, that is you basically saying, I do not have the ability to take this on right now. And that is okay. And it's okay to let people know in a respectful way, I'm sorry, I just don't have the ability to take on that project right now. I'm sorry, I just can't do this market right now. I have too much going on. Another great way to deal with entrepreneurial burnout is to really schedule your life. And what I mean by that is go out and get a planner or if you'd rather do it on your phone, do it on your phone. I prefer an actual planner that I can write in because to me, it's kind of my form of journaling. Get a planner and in that planner, plan out your entire week. Plan out your whole month if you can. And while you're planning things out for the day, give yourself time. And what I mean by that is if you have a huge project that you have to do that's going to take a lot of time, schedule breaks. Schedule coffee breaks. Schedule lunch. Schedule those things so that you can remember how important they are. It is not good for you physically or mentally to work 12 straight hours with no breaks. It is not good for you mentally or physically to just sit there and drink coffee or soda all day long to keep yourself going. So something really important, and it's something that has really helped me, 
is to schedule everything out. So when you take your planner, if you're scheduling out your week, go ahead and say, okay, I have this project due, I have this market on this day, I have this to do here, and go ahead and write in, and then I'm gonna take a break here, and I'm gonna have lunch this day, because I have a lot to do this day, I'm gonna go see my friend on this day, I'm gonna go take a cooking class on this day. Plan out the things so you know, one, you know what your week's gonna look like, two, you have factored in those breaks that are needed, again, for both your mental and your physical health. And three, also go ahead and plan in there the fun things that you're gonna do for the week. That way you have something to look forward to, whether it be take children to the playground or the zoo, um, lunch with friends, cocktails with friends, whatever it is, put that in your planner for the week. And that way, when you look at your week, you don't just see work, 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 work. You see breaks and you see fun activities. That is also gonna help you mentally as well to prepare for your week and not dread your week. Start with the mental health first and give yourself the visual cues of a planner where you can see, yes, you've got a lot of work to do, but you've also scheduled in those breaks, those lunches, you've reminded yourself that you need to rest that you need to eat properly, and then you've also scheduled in those fun things that you can look forward to. Along the same lines of having burnout, another thing that happens to entrepreneurs is you start to get those doubting thoughts in your mind. You start to think, was this a good idea? Should I even bother? Am I really gonna be successful? You start to doubt yourself, and you start to doubt the success of your business or the potential success that you could have. Whenever this happens, and again, it happens to almost everybody, so don't feel like you're weird or anything if it happens to you. It has certainly happened to me. And when it does, what I like to do is I like to focus on the success of other businesses. Because I promise you that every successful business out there has gone through what you've gone through. They have gone through their ups and their downs. They have gone through the feelings of wanting to give up, of is it worth it? And so what I like to do when I'm feeling that kind of way is I like to read a business book by a business owner that tells me all of the things that they've gone through so that not only is it relating to what I'm feeling, but it also gives me a sense of hope because obviously they made it. One of my favorite books, not sponsored, but it's one of my favorite books um, that I love to recommend to all of my business friends, especially the women out there, it is called How to Build a Goddamn Empire by Allie Kriegs. Now, if you don't know, Allie Kriegsman is the um, creator of Bulletin. Bulletin is an online wholesale platform, um, very similar to FAIR, very, very curated. It has a style of its own. Um, but she didn't start out that way. She actually started out with a brick and mortar, and then they started doing markets, and it just evolved. And now she, her company was recently bought out by New York Now. So she is doing extremely well for herself. Her um, platform bulletin is extremely successful. Um, but what I love about this book is I not only love her tone throughout it all because she's very no nonsense and straight to the point, but what I love is that after every adversity, so each chapter is some sort of lesson that she learned through her entrepreneurial journey. And after each chapter, she then interviews other female business owners and asks them how they got through the same thing she had just talked about in the chapter. So you have all of these other women that are also giving you advice saying, yes, that exact same thing happened to me in my business and here's how we overcame it. And I absolutely love that about this book because not only is she giving you great advice for all of the adversity or the hurdles that you may face as an entrepreneur, especially a female entrepreneur, but then she also attaches all of the information from these other female entrepreneurs about how they got through their adversity as well. If you don't have this book, definitely pick it up. It was such a wonderful read. I think I read it in a weekend. Another thing to do when you're feeling that burnout coming, you're starting to have those thoughts of doubting, why, why did I even start this? It's not even gonna be successful. I don't even know why I'm doing this. 
pick up a book written by somebody else who is successful in business and listen to their journey. And I guarantee you will find a lot of hurdles, a lot of adversity, and a lot of times where they wanted to give up too, but they didn't. Take time to learn from others. That is a great way for you to kind of deal with your burnout and realize that it happens to everybody and that it's definitely something you can learn from. A lot of the times it really just helps to talk to just let out all the frustrations we're having as entrepreneurs and to you know have a sounding board where people can give you advice is really nice as well. So what I'm gonna ask all of you to do, if you can, is go ahead and comment down below something that's frustrating you about your business, whether it is, like I said, the taxes, learning all this new stuff, working too many hours, being away from your family, Whatever it is, comment it down below and go ahead and just get it out. I really hope that you enjoyed today's video. I do think that it's a really important topic to talk about because a lot of the times our mental health and our physical health really does affect our business and vice versa. Our business affects our mental health and our physical health. So it's definitely important to acknowledge when you're having a hard time and then also figure out what works for you in order to overcome those things, whether it be getting help from your family and friends, scheduling fun activities, reading business books to figure out what other people have done to overcome their adversities, coming on to YouTube, watching videos like this that hopefully help you, learning to plan out your time so that you can see not only what wonderful things you have to look forward to, you can also measure your success when you're planning things out. And then lastly, you can remind yourself that it's okay to take time to yourself. It's okay to take a break. It's okay to say that you're overwhelmed. So like I said, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you'd like to see more content like this or other of my business videos, please do consider subscribing. Please also hit the like button and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.